Hello everybody, my name is Leonardo and today I'm going to show how to establish an ex a time attendance system with no shifts. For example, we use this situation when we have some employees that they don't have a, a, a correct shift. Example, uh, he works on Mondays morning then Tuesdays afternoon, Wednesday, Wednesday by the evening, and we cannot know exactly when he will work again and which period he will work. So, for these cases, we can use the no shift system. That is what I'm going to show you now. So, first thing we need to check is if we have the user enrolled in our software. So here is an example. My name is Leonardo. This is my user. And it's here with my information. And I have some events, some punch ins, some, some punches out that I did today. Today is October 5th. 5th. So let's go to record first. I want to show you my records. So these are my records for this day. I started my, my labor day at 8 in the morning with 29 minutes. I left for lunch at 11.30. I came back at midday 28 and I finally left my, my duty on 5.31 p.m. So here I are my punches in and my punches out for this day. And pay attention on the status description column. Here is showing uh, the time attendance status in and out for these situations with uh, shifts, with no shift time attendance. I suggest using only these two. We can check them on the status setting. So here is as default. The software comes like this. The status with the symbol and the status value zero are always in. With the number one always out and the others are break and overtime I don't suggest using them for these systems because they might confuse uh, the software and it cannot not maybe it can't give you the, the correct information you want so yeah we, we are just using in to start the duty and out to leave in my example I had lunch and uh, one hour lunch so to go out for lunch I punch out I use the out time time status and to come back before lunch I use it in so now I showed you the records now let's go to the attendance let's choose Leonardo today and make the analysis okay here we are oh you can see that in the operation is written over time why why it can happen let me show you on the user there is a part when we need to establish about the scheduling system when we enroll the user we have the opportunity to choose this before but after we save it uh, we cannot change this by here we need to go to another part of the software in general it will happen with users that are already enrolled in your software and you need to change them to start using them as no shift like I am explaining now so to change this situation we need to go to the shift setting and user scheduling I double click my name and I can change here for not schedule it and after changing to not schedule it it will appear in my name for the respective column that I am not scheduled anymore and then we go back to attendance and we search again now you can see all of them are normal okay so now we can proceed once it's everything okay here we can proceed to the other part so pay attention here and analysis of away and leave we have the total work time for each period. In other words, every time I put, I put a, a punch in and a punch out, the software makes the calculation for me from the time between these two status. 
So in this case, from 8.29 to 11.30, there was two, three hours and one minute. And the same for the other. On the afternoon period, from midday 28 to 5.31, I had five hours. So you can see that every time there is an in status and an out status, the software make this math for me. So for this day, I have three hours in a row, a break for lunch, and five hours in a row. Oh, but I want to see this all calculated after a week, after a month. So we go to standard statistics. And then let me show all columns that is as default. I don't need to search statistical analysis again, but let's do it. Let's come back here. Let's show all columns. I, w I had configured this uh, to show me just the column I want. So since I'm explaining to you, I will show just as default. So here are all the columns that I we have in attendance statistics. And there is a specific column that makes the total math for me is the work time. So let's make the filter now. Columns. I will just put the name, the ID, and the work time as I told now. This is not important for me because uh, I'm not using shifts. Since I'm not using shifts, I just need the total work time. That is the one that I just put now. Oh, look. Here we are, very simplified now. My name, my ID, and how much time I work it from this day. So this, this column is the total math of all the ins and outs that are here. So in my example, I'm using just one day, but I can put here a week, a month, a specific date that in the other part, in the attendance statistics, statistics here would make, make me all the calculation. So five with three, eight hours, three minutes. That is in hours. So eight hours in three minutes would mean eight hours, 0 0.08 hours, 8.08 hours, something like this. Okay, so this is the video for today. I hope I have explained to you and uh, this is the easiest way to make a time attendance. So if you have a small company, you don't want to make shifts, make things uh, so detailed, you can just use this way, okay? I hope you have enjoyed my video. See you next time, have a nice day.